Hey guys, how's it going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 15, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here, U.S. Fed government and NATO headquarters claim under cyber attack pro-Ukraine group promises to blow up Kurt's straight bridge within 36 hours. Guys, I posted a video last night and I showed you, uh, let me show it really quick here. Uh, this is the one, all right? That video was posted 19 hours ago. In that video, I saw a countdown. And the title to this is 48 hours and counting uh, that there was going to be some kind of bridge attack and there was going to be a cyber attack uh, to hit the bank system and multiple agencies. So we did talk about this and I posted a video last night. This link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out. And I've warned that it's very important for people to start taking their stuff out and just being prepared. You got to be prepped. Um, so once again, we are talking about multiple agency. Hold on. Give me a second here. Here we go. So you have multiple agency being hit. Hackers have intruded several U.S. federal gov agency by exploding widely used software. No detail on impact. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me. Louis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida 34691. It's very, very, very important. Please share the video. And look, I tell a lot of people take some money out the bank and put it somewhere away, like in your safe or somewhere you know that uh, it's a safe spot. But uh, there's been a lot of reports coming out today. Uh, multiple agency, uh, federal government agency are getting hit really, really, really hard. Um, now again, guys, when it comes to the bridge countdown, and I said it yesterday, um, again, um, someone is putting out information that, uh, in the next couple of hours or days, uh, supposedly a bridge could get hit and they are talking about Crimea, uh, Crimea bridge. So, uh, again, like I say, guys, I mentioned this in my, uh, other channel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's legit. But uh, we got information that even Turner is putting out the info uh, about a bridge here. All right. So let's see what's going on in this one. You have several agency of the U.S. Gov are saying publicly this hour uh, they are under cyber attack. Uh, NATO headquarters in Brussels is also claiming uh, to be under cyber attack. And meanwhile, pro-Ukraine groups are publicly uh, promising to blow up the Kurt, uh, I mean, the Crunch straight bridge to harm Russia. Let me show you the countdown. Like I said, we, again, we are way ahead of this. Uh, we've been talking about this last couple of days. So, um... I have the information right here. I saved it too. Here we go. Um, it's coming out from this person's channel. Um, give me a second here, guys. Oh yeah, he's been posting a lot of stuff today. You got this one here. Uh, Chinese spies breach hundreds of public private network security firms. Uh, so that's some serious stuff there. Give me a second. Let me just kind of screenshot this. Um. He does have the information here somewhere, guys. Uh, again, um. Uh, oh, here we go. This is the one. 
18 hours and counting. All right, that was posted 22 hours ago. We did talk about that yesterday. And this is a bridge, all right? That's that's a bridge. But this one here is Crimea Bridge. So let me just open this up so uh, you guys have a better view. So this is a countdown going on. Uh, I'm going to translate this in English so you guys see what's going on here. So it says here, we can repeat. There will be no start announcement. And like I say, guys, this I mean, this information is just going around. Uh, I mean, I don't know if, if it's going to happen. All I know is that, uh, uh, people are talking about the bridge and talking about the cyber attack. Now the cyber attack is the real deal. All right. That bridge situation is a whole different ball game. But since, uh, Turner is talking about it, I'm, you know, again, very important to see what's going on with this one here. So these are developing stories and blah, blah, blah. Update 404 PM Eastern time. As uh, I was reminded of an unusual uh, posting on Twitter from the Atlantic Council just one week ago, making clear a cyber attack can trigger Article 5. <laughs> um, um, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at Turner. Uh, absolutely not. No. Article five, uh, I don't think could be activated uh, because of cyber attack. I, again, I don't see that happening. Uh, if the, it depends uh, what's the uh, policy or the agreement uh, that was signed by NATO members. Uh, so uh, Article five is you have 31 country uh, together form a group called NATO. And if one of those country get hit if you hit one you hit all of them and they will respond with uh possibly missiles attack or invading your country so if you hit one of them you basically hit the entire region so uh article 5 means that uh they have every single right to attack the in uh enemies every single uh nato members so uh turner is saying that uh because of this cyber attack uh, they can trigger Article 5. Uh, I just don't see that happening. Okay, because these countries are not getting hit with missiles. They're not getting hit or invaded or stuff like that. Um, so, it, I mean, I don't see that happening. There's a possibility. Who knows, guys? But uh, I just don't see it happening. All right, so we have decided that a cyber attack can trigger Article 5. It doesn't matter if, a, uh, if an attack is kinetic or cyber we will uh assist as uh, allies when it meets the threshold and it sends a message uh that we are cyber allies <sighs> so now cyber attack is consider uh an invasion so interesting just one week uh, after the Atlanta Council reminds the world of this fact uh, lo and behold there's a cyber attack against NATO uh, gee how convenient sorry guys these words are really small I can't even see them uh, so it says here maybe we should start a countdown or take bets to see how long it may be until they blame, hmm, you know what? Oh yeah, the bear, Russia. This is so obvious, uh, it's uh, blah, 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 blah. These people are, okay. So um, they're just trying to find a way to just uh, get involved in this biblical war by declaring Article 5. So we got more information coming out. Uh, and it says here, some people uh, seem to be very carried away, but I am reporting this to you so you can see what's already being spoken about on social media. It's not good. So you have terror alarm. Um, he actually blocked me on Twitter. I have no idea why. Um, it says here, US NATO allies are investigating the cyber attack. If it turns out to be Russia uh, hackers, it will trigger Article 5. 
with nearly 300 NATO aircraft already in the uh, okay. uh Here's the deal, guys. You have a whole bunch of aircraft out there. It's very true. Uh, there's a military exercise going on that started yesterday, and it will last, I think, till the 23rd. Now, they have a whole bunch of aircraft. They have a whole bunch of stuff out there. And now, all of a sudden, there is an article, I mean, you know, cyber attack and Article 5 to be declared. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it just, everything happens so perfectly for uh, NATO. All right, so this is so over the top. I cannot believe any uh, rational entity will have actually published such a thing. All right, so I, I again, guys, I just, I, it just everything is happening so perfectly for a uh, sleeping giant NATO. They got all their planes. It's very close to the bear country, not that close, but it's you know kind of close. Now all of a sudden, uh, they could declare Article Five. As you can see here, you have a U.S. government uh, agency hit in global cyber attack. All this is breaking news right now. This is all breaking news. So NATO is basically under attack, and there's a possibility they might declare Article Five. We actually talked about this yesterday. Whoops, here we go. It's very important you check out that video and I've been warning people to get your money at, uh, at the bank. Now, they said that it was supposed to be Europe banking system that's supposed to get hit. Now they put out the countdown in the next 48 hours. It's only been 24. So there's a possibility tomorrow, the banking system, bank system could get hit. Uh, very important to start prepping spiritually, physically, and mentally. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on this channel. I will post a video later on tonight. I only post one video on this channel. And I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for your support. Uh, you guys uh, have been really, really nice to us. Me and my wife want to thank every single one of you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, uh, Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.